What's up, Smashers? This is Epo coming at you with another Marth video. This one is going to be on the chain grab on Fox on FD. Uh, the juggles and the comboing him from zero to death. FD is a super good matchup for Marth in the Marth Fox matchup, so you need to learn how to do this. So, and check out like Mewtwo King and high level Marth's combo videos. And uh, every time you see Marth vs. Fox and FD, you should be looking out for this combo. So, the first way to do th to do this and how I would suggest starting off with learning it, don't just immediately, you know play your friends and go for the combos. This might take some practice. And the first thing is the up throw re-grab on, on Fox with no DI. So I'm just up throwing Fox and re-grabbing him when he's not DIing anywhere. So you can see here that Fox is teal. Uh, and what that means is I'm using the 20XX feature to turn teal with hit stun. So that's just helping us show that Fox is indeed in hit stun so he can't escape our up throw chain grab. And uh, you don't need a uh, 20xx to really do this uh, to see the teal for a hit stun, and you don't actually need 20xx to have a, a computer that doesn't DI. You can just go into training mode on a GameCube, or you can plug in a second controller. So again, you need to just practice chain grabbing Fox until about 20%. And the reason I'm saying 20% is actually pretty interesting. So I'm gonna kill him off here and get him back to 20%. And uh, at 20%. 21% if you will something interesting happens if you try to regrab Fox again you will miss the regrab let me show you what I'm saying and you can pummel in between if your opponent's not mashing so right now so you can see there that I went for uh, the grab but I missed it again well that time I grabbed the silly other Fox but uh, I couldn't grab this Fox because essentially he was in Mart's Roy zone if you've ever heard that term and it doesn't really mean too much other than your grab hitbox wasn't uh, colliding with Fox's, uh, you know, body hurtbox. So the way to counter this is to pivot grab, and I'll show you how to do that. There's a pivot grab, and there's a pivot grab. So essentially, you're just um, you're just dashing back and forth super fast to do a pivot grab. Pivots are pretty difficult techniques. Uh, you can do pivot forward smashes, pivot forward tilt, pivot jumps, and pivot grabs, if not other things. But uh, pivot grab is the easiest of all of those techniques. So don't don't be frightened by having to learn it, because unlike the other techniques, you don't have to time like an A or a jump input. If you press grab and you're doing an, a jump cancel grab, which if you don't know how to do a jump cancel grab, check out my Marth uh, jump cancel boost grabs tutorial. It's such a basic technique for any level of uh, melee play. Jump cancel grabbing is really important. So all you're doing basically is a dash dance jump cancel grab, but you're just doing a teeny tiny dash dance. And what that happens to do is put you in a pivot and you do a little pivot grab, just like that. So practice doing your up throw chain grab and practice getting Fox to that percent where you need to pivot grab and then pivot grab him. So it's right now, right now. See there, I missed it. There I did a dash dance. There, I did another dash dance. So this is a pretty difficult technique to do. And one way to get around this is to get some percent on Fox so that he's kind of past that level. Another way to get around it is to do kind of a wonky up tilt and put him in a tech chase situation. But I would recommend just landing your pivot grabs. Most Foxes aren't going to go for this. Uh, go for the, the no DI shine. That's what you're looking out for, basically, is that you'll miss the grab if you do another standing grab. Or if the fox wants to, he can get out of the hit stun and he can shine you. So uh, against a fox that's doing regular DI left or right, you just have to turn around and grab. So that's not too much of an issue. This is only a problem against uh, your opponent who's going to opt to go for the no DI and try to escape that way. So one way to counter this is just to get some decent percent on fox. So now he's at like 26, 32. Now you can just re-grab him if he... I think it's the percent past this. All right, now 41, you can just re-grab him. So... That's one way to counter it, is just to, to start your combos later than later than the percent at which the pivot grab uh, kind of comes into play. So, now I'm going to get this other fox here to fight me. This is like a 20xx uh, computer fox, so he's going to have relatively random DI. So let me show you what to do. The second step here, see now since he's DIing in a direction, you can just jump and re-grab him. And if you have 20XX, he's going to jump as soon as he gets out of hit stun. That's important. Because right now you can see, like, the more forward DI he does, the, mo the longer he's in hit stun. But the more upward DI he does, you can see that he can jump out. So, that's important. So, 
So the second step to this, I guess if the if the first step, the ch the chain grab was the crawl phase, this will be the the walk phase would be the up tilt re grab. So right now you'll get into a percent about right there. Uh, so right now is it too high a percent? Let me get you an earlier percent. But basically the up tilt re grab gets more percent and puts them at a percent at which you can do your your really grizzly combos off of up tilt. So the walk phase is definitely the up throw up tilt. So there he did the no DI and escaped because I didn't pivot. So there I got the up tilt and then I dashed a little bit and got the re grab. So that's definitely the second phase, very important. So let me tr show you a couple more reps of the up tilt re grab. So again, you've got the the chain grab. Look out for the pivot grab if you need to, and then uh, and then go for the up tilt re grab. So I'll do an up tilt, turn around, re grab, and now like the cool combo start. Kill him off here. So again, I did the up tilt regrab there and regrab Fox, and he was in hit stun the whole time, so there's nothing he could do. I'll do it one more time. Up tilt. There, I missed the regrab because I didn't tip my up tilt. The up tilt regrab is definitely like the second phase of this, and uh, very important to practice and master. So do up tilt, regrab. And then you can do your combos. Definitely the, the second phase of this. So after the up tilt re grab, he should be around like I'm uh, just gonna throw numbers out like 30 to 50 ish percent, kind of depending on when you go for your uh, when you go for your up tilt re grab. There's the up tilt re grab. Now you have uh, several options after the up tilt re grab of how to combo Fox past this point. So there was like a Reggie regular one so there's essentially two different ways to do this this is really important so I'm talking louder so there's if Fox DI's hard in one direction you you want to opt for a forward smash or a forward tilt and send him off stage like that Fox is oh, well that was terrible DI uh, knock Fox off the stage and essentially put him in an edge guard situation to where he has to use his up B or his side B to recover and then you edge guard him just like that so that's the one way to do it, the easier way. And then the harder way is to opt for, if he's above you especially, a short hop up air, or if he's a little bit in front of you or behind you, a short hop forward air, and continue your combo that way. So there I actually went for an up tilt because he went above me. There he went in front of me, and I went for a forward air. So uh, there's always a way to combo him from zero to death, depending on his DI, after the up tilt regrab through forward air or up tilt or forward air or up air it's just uh it's just difficult so a lot of times i'd opt for forward smash or forward tilt so like right now i'll do forward smash that ended up killing because of bad di and set up for an edge guard situation but most times if he di's above you the forward air or the forward tilt or the forward smash isn't going to be there so you're going to have to opt for an upwards attack to continue the combo so there i got a forward forward air regrab and then Fox does silly stuff. So I've gotten rid of the other Fox here to show you guys kind of the final step. He's using the chain grab, the up tilt re grab. He DI'd that way, so we got him with a forward smash. Charge neutral B edge guard. Rolling would have also worked there. And finish him off. So I'd highly recommend the forward tilt and the forward smash. Uh, wouldn't recommend as much like the big glorious combos with short hop up air and short hop fair, although they are the correct options sometimes. Like right there, the short hop up air kind of continued the combo where uh, where forward smash or forward tilt might have given them a chance to survive. So useful for situations like that. Practice your chain grabs, practice your pivot grabs, practice your up tilt re-grab. Practice knowing what percent you can just finish it with a forward smash like that and what percent you can't. And uh, if you have 20XX, throw on the teal feature, see when they're in hit stun. That helps, uh, at least initially, just to know like when they're truly in hit stun and when they're not. Uh, and definitely play with the player 2 CPU that does the random DI and the random text. That's super important. And uh, if you're on a GameCube, uh, I'm pretty sure the level 3 computer, if not like 4 and some other levels, they'll always DI uh, behind you. And on uh, like level 1 will have probably pretty bad DI. And then level 9 will always DI towards you, I believe. So if you're on a GameCube, definitely ways to, to get around not having the random uh, tech and DI options there. But this is definitely something really important for you guys, Marts. This has been Epo. Good luck with your chain grabs. Happy training, guys.